So my advice to, I think there, there are a couple of different things. So if you're, if uh, my, my advice to somebody that doesn't want to go to college, if they, if there is a field that they're interested in and they dig it, they want to be a landscaper, they want to drive heavy equipment, they want to build houses, they want to own a construction, what, what, whatever that they're, that they're, that they're dreaming of doing. The best, my, my advice is get a job with a company that you admire the most and, and with a leader that you admire the most and, um, uh, and start anywhere, start anywhere in that company and, and, and even start at the bottom. Just, you know, even if you want to be in, in this position, start over here cleaning up job sites or, or, you know, whatever it is, but just to get in and then, and you will get noticed if you, if you work really hard and you come earlier than most and stay later than most and you volunteer the most and you do the most, what's going to happen is the real leaders in the organization, and there's only a couple that are the real leaders, they're going to notice you doing that stuff and you're going to get pulled right along and you're going to get pulled right, right to where you want to go. So work for somebody you admire for sure. I think that, you know, uh, that, that a good life is a life that you like and a fulfilled life is a life that's fulfilled for you. But, but happiness is really hard work and, and my advice to young people or to really anybody um, don't judge it until you've been there because some, the people's outside doesn't match their inside, you know? So, so really, before you make a decision about something, um, do something more than, than Google it and Wikipedia it. I had a $3 billion company with 140,000 employees, right? So it's not just a little sub shop. And also we procured and managed all the product and all the food and hedged all the, all the uh, commodities on the, on the market and, uh, and then managed all the, all the distribution and all that. So before you judge it, go see it. Don't make a decision about it. I grew, I grew up in an immigrant community. I went to Lithuanian boys camp. Um, my mother and I got uh, the president elected of Lithuania after Lithuania became separated from the Soviet Union. My mom and I came up with $200,000 and we financed the election of Valdis Adamkis who became president of Lithuania. His leadership brought Lithuania into the European Union, which now they had the power of America and Europe behind them and being Russia and them share a border. And that, you know, that, that, that's, that's so, so powerful to be able to do that. And, uh, and I, you know, I've, I've taught classes at, at the university in Vilnius and, and my mom and I built a hospital in Vilnius, Lithuania, and um, we're really proud of our heritage. We had a Christmas party Friday night with our family and we serve Lithuanian food. We have a lot of traditions and, and, and that's who I am. I'm a Lithuanian and, uh, and, and that's just, uh, it's just part of my life. So. No way. No way I could have started Jimmy John's in this climate. $52,000 wage for a manager and $15 an hour. You know, $15, it was a great idea, right? But who's got all the money now? Jeff Bezos. All the New York bodegas are closed down. You know, all the small businesses are closed down. You can't, you can't make it. You can't, you just, it's, you just watch. Uh, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, everybody is. Every single industry is. I mean, here's the deal with fast food, okay? And this is coming. Your fast food bill is going to equal the minimum wage in your. So if your minimum wage in New York is 17 bucks, that's how much your bill is going to be for lunch. So just that's 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 about where things settle in. So one hour minimum wage is about what fast food is going to cost you. So I did a check the other day. I went to Culver's. It was fourteen dollars and twenty one cents. I went to uh, I went to Arby's and I got a two for six, a shake, fries, and it was like twelve dollars and eighty three cents. And that was in Illinois. So it's right. You know they're, they're right about there. But you know so it, it's double. You know when I you know it's it's double what it was two years ago. It's double. Yeah. So you think inflation is just going to keep climbing? You cannot print four trillion dollars, push it into the economy, and have everything devalue. So yeah, I mean, all, all everything that we own, you know, we, we're farmers, farm ground, commodities, everything's going up. It is what it is. But you know what? As long as it's run by the free market, I'm cool with it. Let the free market rock it, right? Let the free market do it and just let it settle in where it settles in. Get the government's hands out of it. Well, entrepreneurship in America is, that's how America was built. I mean, you know, I started with one side and invent the, sub, the sandwich, right? I started with one sub shop. I ended up with the second largest sandwich chain in the world before I sold it. I th it still is the second largest sandwich chain in the world. And, um, and, and, and then also all of my mom and pop owners, they're all entrepreneurs as well. 
And so, you know, entrepreneurship is, 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 is sort of the, the, the grass, you know, it's doing things all around America that nobody's aware of, whether it's a lawn mowing business or a snowplow business or a Kool-Aid stand or whatever the heck it is. It's happening all around the country. And, and, and it, it's, it's, it's the, it, it is, you know, it, you know, Jeff Bezos didn't start out where he started out, right? It, you know, he started out selling books, right? And now he delivers, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, so... Yeah, uh, you know, America is entrepreneurship and, and, and the world is dependent on entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship is all the innovation. I mean, look at Elon Musk. Look at that dude. And he's a great patriot and he's a great conservative. And he, you know, what a great entrepreneur. Right. Stock's high, but what a great <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs>